you will to imagine yourself. You're nine years old. You don't go to school. You don't go to play. You're forced to work in horrifying conditions from 12 to 16 hours a day, seven times a week, with barely any food in your stomach. Welcome to the world of child labor. Hi, my name is Zara. What I'm going to talk to you about today should really shock you. Let's name some brands. Louis Vuitton, Nike, Adidas, Tommy Hilfiger, Sheen, Chanel, Calvin Klein, and Victoria's Secret. Who knew these brands are using enforced child labor? Are you surprised? I know I am. According to World Vision, 160 million kids ages from 5 to 17 are currently working in child labor. That is nearly seven times the population of Australia. According to this graph I made using the information from the World Economic Forum, you can see that 48% of child labourers are 5 to 11, 28% are 12 to 14 year olds, and 24% are 15 to 17. This is shocking to me. They are so young. My next question. Is child labour actually illegal? The answer is, it's a big yes. As a matter of fact, according to the Child Labour Prohibition and Regulation Act in 1986, if you go against this child labour law, you would have to pay $10,000. Now, as you can see in this graph, many brands don't show how many factories they own. This is because there isn't a lot of information on the unethical practices they use. They are not transparent, which just goes to show just how sneaky they are. So how are these children ending up working in these factories? Well, I'm sorry to say, but these children come from lower social economic environments. They are in poorer countries, and in some cases, are sold off by their own parents through their own desperate needs. What is sad about this is that these major brands are taking advantage of these poorer families and children, promising them good wages, but really, that's not the case. These kids go through so much trauma, like forced labor, drug trafficking, prostitution, and armed conflict, that it scars them for life. These factories are in poorer conditions and are unhygienic. This affects our environment. They violate many UN sustainable goals like no poverty and good health and well-being. Before we move on, I'd like to point out the top six countries today that are still currently using child labor. They are India, China, Bangladesh, Egypt, Thailand, and Pakistan. Now, let's get on to a more positive note. There are groups and organisations that have tried to make a difference, with some having success. In the past 20 years, almost 100 million kids were removed from child labour places, and in the last decade, this child labour percentage has decreased by 38%. The Fairware Foundation is yet another organisation whose goal is to stamp out any child labour by getting brands to get their factories authorised. The IYECL has made a goal to stop child labour by 2025 as well as marking this year to be the international year for the elimination of child labour. This is the time for change. No matter how hard these groups and organisations try to fight for justice, it is pointless if they don't get us to help, as we are the next generation for buyers. So how can we make a difference? Personally, how I started to help is to create awareness by firstly making this TED talk. Secondly, I've created a game in Minecraft with my friends which would help educate children in different sustainable problems, such as child labour, as well as them having fun in the process. Thirdly, by changing my mindset by how I look at these brands and thinking twice before buying. But how can you help? You can join me by changing your mindset too. Research and educate yourself of which brands don't use child labour. Brands like Target and Cotton On are a couple of the good ones, but there are many more. Social media platforms are another way to spread the word and start a change. I would like to see child labour on the decline, don't you? Manufacturing needs to understand that it needs to behave in an ethical and a sustainable manner and not abuse our children. Together, we can all make a difference. Next time you're tempted to buy from one of these stores, remember who you're affecting, and I hope you will make the right choice. Thank you.